Hello, <clears throat> and welcome back to Red Rogue. So, unfortunately, I have to start this game all the way from the beginning. Believe me, I did try to get around that. I tried to hack the game. I failed. <clears throat> I mean, I was able to hack the game, sure, sure. Let me just clear this level out while I tell you about what I did and how I tried to cheat. And how I failed. Because it's apparently impossible to cheat in, in a certain way. So, the most obvious way of cheating, um, if you were to do a little bit of research, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, uh, B-A. Three is your limit, cheater. <laughs> yeah, so I did that a few times. <clears throat> but three is the limit. For the entire game. The only way to reset it, I do think, is to wipe the entire save data. But I'm not about to do that. Especially now that I've done all of this. Check it out. Oh, I've been at work on this game. Been working out. I learned that this is a health stone right here. Punching it. Gives us health and a minion. I've learned that this uh, grindstone here, I didn't have the minion just punch it just, just endlessly. I don't even have to hold the button, the right button. Of course, he gets stuck up on here and I have to see him off. I have to summon him off with the C button. But otherwise, he'll just keep punching this thing forever and ever. So, I'll tell you about what I've accumulated. So right here, this this sparkle here, that is all the gear I intend to take with me on my epic quest to beat the game. That's right. This time we're going to win. And here, if you want to see what I'm doing here, check it out. Are you kidding me? I set the seat. Oh, gosh. I have to set it again. Nine eight seven six. F no, no, no. That's not right. It's not right. It's zero nine eight seven six five four three two one. That's the seed I want to do this time. Okay. Want to do a new seed because I doubt you want to see me go through the entire map again. I found out there's no way to save progress. You just have to go slaughter everything again. So I made sure that I slaughtered everything enough times to get really good at this game. And. uh... Yeah, I think I've done. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. I've got a whole bunch, and I've got some epic gear accumulated as well. So yeah. So let me just, and also there's this overworld portal here that goes to the mm, dungeon, to the dungeon. Hey, what you doing, Kobold? I'm gonna kill you for no reason, cause I'm gonna delete the whole game. Even if now I've got flies. All right, and uh. New game. See, so that's the only way it'll use the seed, is if I do a new game. So we have to do it. I thought it already was. Ah, uh, stupid. Oh, never mind. Oh, whatever. We'll go back to Overworld. Fine, fine. That's fine with me. All right. Now punch that rock again. Grindstones, what it's called. As I've read, it's called. So what we've got in this stack is the gun leech, which I played the game over. Deleted everything there was in the game. Which was nothing, because I didn't put anything up here. Apparently this stuff stays on in the overworld, even though you start a new game. It's actually not. It's got all this stuff in it still. It's amazing. It's awesome. Uh, by the way, uh, I, when I did the hearts... I wasn't, I didn't, I made sure I didn't cheat with those hearts. All I did was, you know, I did the Konami code. All I, all I did was I, I just tested it out because I wanted to see if it actually worked. And I did three accidentally and lost them all because I didn't want to cheat. I, I just, I, I just committed suicide basically. So I can't do that now. Um, what I can do is press control, control, shift, enter. Debug mode active. I mean menu. Debug menu. So 
basically opens up a new menu here. Control shift enters what gets it, and uh, yeah, I could technically give myself anything. Any armor, any rune, any heart, any weapon. I could even change the race. Change Ats race. Teleport to the uh, anywhere. Save the settings that are right here, which I did. I, I experimented with that to try and save the game. Apparently, it doesn't save progress in the game. It only saves the settings, which is stuff that's on the overworld and portals like that one. So, yeah. And, of course, this right here, this would give us the most epic equipment in the game. Except for Yendor, which is actually Rodney spelled backwards. I do a lot of research on this game. Red Rogue is an unofficial sequel to Rogue. The game from the 80s. I think it was the 80s, right? I think it was. So, uh, yeah. So what I did here... No, no, no. Keep keep hacking away at that rock. At. Keep hacking away at it. All right. So what we got over here... On this side, I've got runes. I'll pick those up. Here we have some helmets. Um, halos... And crowns and tiaras. We've got a top hat and fedoras. See, what I did was I played this game over and over and over again, but I made sure not to go into chaos because I didn't want to experience anything that you had. But unfortunately for me, I did experience new stuff because I did do siege thinking there'd be nothing new. It's just a new layout, but nope, it's entirely new. So that's why I want to show you a new seed because the seed we originally picked, I originally picked, not you. I don't blame it on you. It kind of sucked. It's kind of not as awesome as this. It's other seeds. And I haven't played this seeds. So I don't know if this one's going to be awesome, but... Well, <laughs> the first one we chose was the worst one, so this one has to be better, right? Let's hope so. 987654321's our seed. Put a seed at the beginning to make sure it doesn't go into more digits. Alright, so, um, yeah, we got that. We've got, okay, this is a mass, this, there's blood there, which I got off, I don't, I forget what it was, a werewolf, I think, <laughs> wow. Well, I'm, spoiler alert, there are werewolves in this game, and vampires, and, uh, maybe some zombies. I'm probably not, it's just the skeletons. And, I uh, got... Some faces here. There's some flies and bees and fireflies. Faces here of various creatures. Right here, this sparkly... No, you don't need cane toe it is anymore. This, these are knives. These are maces. These are ranged weapons. These are gauntlets. Whips and spears. And right here, chakrams, I think. But the only things I'm going to take are right in this pile right here. And some runes. I, I forgot to put some runes over in this file, so I'm going to have to pick those up also. So, um, in order to get all this stuff, I didn't clear any levels. But I think I may just clear levels here again. At least until we get into chaos. Because chaos is kind of chaotic. Minion, keep going. Keep hacking away. So, now what we've got over in this stack here... Bait... He's going faster. Notice he's going faster because if we look at the lore and races, we can see that the uh, attack speed, it goes up. It goes up a lot. Well, not a lot, but it goes up a little bit every level, you see. So that's why he's attacking a little faster now. thought that was interesting. It's also where we're going up in levels. More hit points as well. It's important. Because if I die again, I'm going to lose this whole stack, which includes my gun leech, which is awesome. The, I've read the most awesome weapon in the game, even though it's only level 1 here. Unfortunately, it's level 1 again. But I'm going to chant it up, and it's going to be the best one. I'm going to put every enchantment we got in all these runes over here. Even got some runes I don't know what are. It's amazing. And really what my complete goal was, to get a bunch of hearts so I can heal up at any time, and... To get a uh, a bunch of identify runes, because I want to tell you what everything the game is, and I thought about just, just burning them into my inventory with a debug, 
thinking that that wouldn't be considered cheating, but I thought that you may think it can, you may consider it to be cheating, and so I didn't. And I, uh, haven't cheated any part in this game with using a debug menu. The only thing I did do was spawn the gun leech in my inventory once at the very beginning. Rather than erasing all save data, which of which there was none, I had to spawn in my inventory because I thought that the portals would stay, because I read they would, but they didn't. Yeah. So I hope that doesn't bother you. It's not really cheating, it's just stupidity. I guess. I could have just gotten it without even opening up that menu once, but now, oh well. I'm just showing you I know how, okay? That's how bold I am. I'm just showing you I know how to cheat and taking you so that you'd know that I haven't been. Because if I had been cheating, you would be sure that I would not let you know that I've been cheating or, or something. Like, like yeah, I, I don't know what... I don't think that came out right, but I, I'm not cheating, basically. That's all you're supposed to get from that. This portal here goes to level 7 and down in the dungeons. To be in the caves, I think, if memory serves, and it always does. Alright, so I'm gonna. I left some hearts on the left. Which, cause it does like 100. I got 100 over here, so. I had 100, and I split it up in half. We've even got. So why don't we just take that little stack? I'm procrastinating for some reason. Look at all this stuff! Hearts. Just a bunch of hearts. Just scrolling it. Look at those things. And Galado. It's the name of our new gun leech. <laughs> Check this out. Credits. Aaron Steed. Code Art Design. But Nathan Galado. Sound. Music. Nate. Our last gun leech was named, named Nate, and this one is named Galado. Coincidence? Uh-uh. Not a chance. All right. If anything gets too tense, I'm going to turn on dogmatic mode so I have more time to react. I'm also going to go through and throw runes at every of identification on anyone, everyone, because I got like 50. Oh, and I accidentally identified the knife. <laughs> the name was named the first. Knife was knife the first. It's a short blade, special nun range, melee and thrown. Damage 0 0.15 plus 0 0.05 times level. Attack 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 times level. Knockback zero and stun zero. Hearts plus 10%. Good for cutting hearts out, basically. For comparison, wear this thing. You can just read in your own time. It's a lot better. And uh, this thing is just amazing. It steals life, shoots blood, melee missile. It's awesome. I don't think this one's melee technically. It's only missile. But this one, melee and missile. Good up close and from afar, the crafted blood demon. Gets good hearts, does, has some stun. And, um. Well, Arcolado, let me just equip that real quick. A bomb. Thought that might come in handy. The Galado. The enchantment, I enchanted it with light. 20. So we're going to be able to see everything. Might as well enchant it for my runes as soon as I get them. And look at all these hearts. You can see. I've probably got enough. You know, worst comes to worst, I'll just eat kobold hearts. I've just got so many of them. But check this out. This is awesome right over here. Skeleton heart. Ah. So what happened there? A mimic mimicked at... Turned into a skeleton, and then I ripped its heart out. Yeah. A skeleton's heart. Yep. That happened. And I've got... I got myself a level 7 enchanted helmet with who knows what on it. Equip that. And at... You may have... This level 5 enchanted helmet with who knows what, but a little bit fewer who knows what. Hold on, I just did that wrong. And I want you to think I know how to play this game. Ha. Alright, so this armor is Flol's 
face or no face. And we've got a nymph face, which I'll tell you later what that's good for. We've got a troll face, because it's just awesome. And uh, rogue face, in case something turns me into, in case like R RNG, which I figured it out. It means random number generator. Based on a seed, so it's not completely random, but random number generator is going to, uh, if he, if he turns me into, like, a kobold, I'll just rogue face, put the rogue face on and be, be awesome again. By the way, her name is Red, I think. I think I read that also. Okay. Uh, I didn't get any spoilers, though. At least not too many. Heh, 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 heh. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to identify everything we can. Alright, At, you, you can stop pounding the wall now. We've got stuff to do. Alright, so here my, here's my heart collection. A bunch. We've got a bunch over there. If you wonder why I only brought one, uh, one weapon, I mean, technically two weapons, but, you know, the bomb, it kind of explodes, and then, you know, it's not really useful anymore. Yeah. But, what we've... So, I'm just keeping it just in case. We might use it to detonate the final boss. What's his name? The Big Bad. No, it's not that. What is it? Ragnar? Balrog. Balrog. J.R.R. Tolkien's... Uh, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, you know, those things, those books had uh, Balrogs in them. It's a species of doom. Not originally, but it is now. Um, so what else are we going to do? Oh, yes, we're going to pick up the runes. So what have we got here is a whole mess of runes of light. How many? A whole mess of them. Sixty-six. So, yeah, that's probably more than we need. I'm going to drop a couple. Uh that's probably way more than we need. Yeah. The, um, the reason I'm dropping them, I'm, I don't know if my handbag of holding... Seriously, it's called that, seriously. I don't know if my handbag of holding can hold all these things. You know, I'm, I'm picking up a lot of stuff. I don't want to get overloaded. Anyway, if I do somehow die, it's going to really suck having to get these things back, you know? So, I'm just dropping these things off just in case... That's about enough. And here we have runes of identificationism. Booyah! And something else that I accidentally put in there. What was that? A rune of bleed. So this will help us kill just about anything except the un except the undead, I guess. Skeletons. At that'll be that would be fine. I could feed it to him all I wanted, but it'd just be pointless. So um. You know what it'd be really awesome on, though? The Rune of Bleed? Oh, yes. Glado, prepare to get an upgrade. You will make our enemies bleed with your blood. You know what? Let's use this Rune of Identification to figure out what this bomb is. What's its name? Surprise! You're dead. <laughs> That's an awesome name for a bomb. I will enjoy using it to its fullest whenever it becomes necessary. And only when it becomes necessary, that is. Alright, so let's just look up its lore. When shall we use the bomb? Bomb. Explosive grenade. Special. Explodes! Range, thrown. Damage, 2 plus 0 0.2 times level. Attack, 0 point... I don't get it. What's the difference between damage and attack? Is attack, like, the, um, chance that it will not be defended against or something? Uh, I don't know. 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 times level knockback 0 0.5 that doesn't make any I, so I guess rocket jumping is pretty much impossible here or bomb jumping stun 0 0.6 hearts none because it, it blows up hearts it doesn't it collect them for us and uh, let's see what else 
we have. Let's use this root of identification to enchant our... Can it enchant a... Nymph face? Rogue face? Let's just try it. Nymph face. What, what is that? Harmonious face. Huh, okay. That, uh, that's messed up. Man, why would I enchant that? Because I intend to wear it, of course. I intend to wear it. I'll just tell you why later, alright? Flawless face apparently has already been identified. So what we're doing also is we're knocking lore. Yes, we're knocking lore. Let's see, we're identif- So we'll know how to, how to deal with these creatures we're going to go against. Let's... Let's, un let's unlock lore on the troll face. The face's true name is Boar's Face. Okay, a boar, a troll. Why didn't that unlock any more lore, though? Did it? Did it? Uh, hold on. That would occur here, right? Wait, what? It said new lore would be unlocked. Where's my lore? It's here? Face. Magic skin mask. Special. Polymorph into face type. Defense. Zero plus zero times level. Endurance. Zero. Yay. Stupid pointless face. <laughs> Except for the polymorph, which will come in handy later. I'll show you. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, polymorph basically means transmogrificate. That's basically what it means. Alright, so let's not do that again. Let's instead check out this awesome helmet. See what its name is. The Aegis. The Aegis. That's awesome. That's an awesome name. Alright, so let's see what this is. Helmet. The strong hat. Special? None. Defense, however, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 times level. Endurance, 0 0.4. So I read that the helmet is by far the strongest sort of protection in the game. Didn't really read... Di didn't really need to know that. If you select give debug equipment, that is what falls onto your face. It's a helmet. Of 20 levelness. Goodness. It's just fantastic. I'm not going to upgrade any more runes, though, because it says it doesn't need them. You know, it, I mean, we're going to find something more awesome. In fact, I did. I, I, One of the times I was playing through this, I got a really awesome Aquabus, which is a gun, and a really awesome Longbow, which was even more powerful than my gun leech, but I died. I also had was wearing a level 12 helmet, and the minion was wearing a level 8 Helmet, it's so sad, and all, all of them were enchanted. Of course, it's just ah, it's morbid. I don't, why not morbid? It's just sad, it's morbidly sad. Okay, so we've named all that. All right, cool. So everyone's got a name. Flaw's face, a no face. A money is that's. I don't want to think about with that. A nymph. Goodness, it just feels so wrong. I mean, nymphs, I don't know, they, they're they not technically humans, they're like from Greek mythology, but they're like, they're, they're, they're like, I don't, I'm not thinking about it anymore, I refuse to. Okay, I want to, I just want to see what it says about this, okay? The face's true name is Rogue's Face. Oh, well, yeah, I, I guess that this summer is Rogue's Face. A rogue face. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Huh? Uh, yeah. Alright, perhaps we should, uh... Yeah, alright, I, I, I'm done wasting those things, okay? I'm done. I'm done. Alright, we'll get on with this. I'll collect my runes. That's a lot of them. A lot of undead, a lot of terror bleeds. And a lot of unknowns here, and slows, all, and portals also. Alright. So, we've got 
Oh my gosh, that's a lot of runes. Man. Well, we're gonna have some fun with this, aren't we? Yes. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm just gonna keep all these things. You never know when they're gonna come in handy. And they will. Believe me, they will in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. <laughs> I know it didn't. We didn't get anything done. But uh, we got the introduction to awesomeness done, okay? That's all we got. The introduction to awesomeness. Alright, thanks for watching. Did I say thanks for watching yet? Oh, I did. Okay, well, goodbye then. Just, just goodbye. Goodbye.